Hello guys, it's the Sun Sage. I hope everybody is doing great. I am back to do your pick a card reading. This is what are their next moves towards you? Okay. So I'm going to get a couple of cards to see what the, your person's next moves towards you are, whoever you're thinking about, whoever you are connecting with romantically, <clears throat> whether you guys are in communication or not. I want to take a look and see what their next steps will be in your connection. All right. So I want you guys, I want you guys to pick the deck that resonates most with you. This will be deck one, the Game of Thrones tarot. <clears throat> This will be deck two, the Mermaid Tarot. And deck three, <clears throat> the Light Seer's Tarot. All right. So starting with group one, please keep in mind, guys, these are general messages. They may not resonate with everyone. But if you pick this pile, then there is likely some message in there that will resonate with you. Okay. All right, so let's get started. <clears throat> what are group one's person's next steps towards them? We have the five of spears, the seven of cups, the three of swords, the sun. <clears throat> We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Will of Fortune. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Coin. And we have the Seven of Spears. So with the Five of Spears here, your person's next move towards you could be some sort of confrontation. Um, if you are not speaking with them, they may try to forcefully speak with you, like continuing to call you continuing to text you this is an attempt that will be made by them to have some sort of conversation about the conflict that's been in your connection that in itself could create conflict right because this is an energy where there are different opinions different personalities people possibly not getting along and this is what's creating a challenge in your connection i feel like your person is going to um, be a bit defensive. We're going to see that as well with the seven of wands, but I do feel like they're going to be a little bit defensive, um, <clears throat> a little bit, uh, reactive. All right. So this may be a really sensitive time, um, when it comes to having a conversation with them, they could be taking things personal. They could also be, um, feeling like there are people in your life they have to compete with your attention for. So I do feel like this person is going to be taking action towards dealing with that, how they feel is best. So if you have family members that don't like your romantic partner <clears throat> or the person, whoever you're thinking about, however you consider them, you may have family that don't like them. You may have friends that don't like them. There's something here about them having to compete for your attention and possibly having to fight off people in order to get close to you. And so I do feel like they are willing to take those steps. All right. So with the seven of cups here, group one, um, your person is very much in a kind of a haze right now. So while they are going to take some action and that action may feel a bit counterproductive because it may result in arguing or more conflict, I do feel like they're, they're overall confused. You know, we're going to see that they're hurt, but they're overall just confused and they don't know exactly how to proceed. You know, this is an energy where they want to make the right choice. And they're having a hard time doing it. There's a sense here that your person needs to snap out of it. You may feel like they have been living in this fantasy world, like they need to, to get into reality and to take some action. And there's a sense going on with them that they don't know how to take action because they have so many options before them. They're not sure what to do. All right. So... Your person could be needing a little guidance, 
right? Um, they could also be needing a little bit more time to kind of make sort things out and take some action. Because what we're seeing here with this five of spears is that them reacting now or soon could prove challenging, um, even more challenging than um, your circumstances with them now. So I do feel like they're a little bit confused. They're trying to get out of this, but it's very difficult for them. The reason why it's so difficult, group one, is because of this, all right? Your person is hurting. They're in pain. Um, this could be a result of pain that they caused you. This could be a result of what they feel may be you all hurting each other. But this is definitely reflective of uh, heart pain and heartache from the breaking up of a relationship or the fighting and arguing that you guys are experiencing. This, this idea that they just don't know how to fix it. And every time they try to fix it, it just gets worse. Right? Um, every time you guys try to communicate, things could go left and, and things could spiral out of control and everybody ends up getting hurt. This is also somebody who, when they are unable to make a decision, what ends up happening is they find themselves in these uh, temporary situations, third party in particular, that could hurt the connection even more. So I feel like their next steps are going to be to kind of fall back on what they know. And that's uh, acting out of pain. You know, we see that with the five of spheres too. All right. Um, let me get some clarity for the five of spheres for your person, group one. Four of coin. They feel like you're not opening up to them. So yes, that could be what they, they feel like they're competing um, for your attention. Um, they could have this illusion that you're dealing with someone else for sure. So when they come in, this is why they're going to be in a way kind of aggressive is because of this four of coin. I think they feel like they have to be extreme to get your attention, extreme to get you to open up to them and to speak to them. You guys could have had a really big argument or you guys could have had, you may not be speaking to them because you shut down, right? You shut down, you close yourself off and you um, are refusing to deal with them. Um, that is leaving them confused or going to leave them confused. Remember, if these energies have not happened yet, they will happen soon because this is what their next actions are towards you. So let's see what seven of cups. So this, clar this, uh, temperance is clarifying the seven of cups. All right. So yes, I do feel like you are dealing with somebody who has not yet completely healed um, who is not yet seen clearly, but who could possibly be on the path to doing that. However, when they do reach out to you, when they do come towards you, group one, they are going to be very vulnerable, as we saw with that three of swords, and they're still going to be very hurt. All right. Um, I'm going to see if that hurt results in an apology or some sort of explanation of things. But right now with this seven of cups and this temperance, it's like they want to find solace and peace and healing so bad. Um, they could feel like you are the person that will heal them. You are the person, they only feel better when they have you in their life and when they're connecting to you and when your connection is solid. And so right now, if you guys aren't speaking and you're closed, you've closed yourself off from them, they're feeling a little off kilter and, and that could be distorting their vision of things a little bit more with the seven of cups. They could be imagining things. They could be feeling like, again, they have these illusions that you are doing something. You are connecting to somebody else. Um, a little bit of paranoia. So they're trying to find balance with that. So clarifying, um, or not trying to find balance with that, but with that temperance, they're definitely trying to heal that. They could be somebody who overthinks situations and um, it makes things worse. So they're trying to tone that side of them down. With the Three of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords. All right. So I definitely feel like you're not going to be that receptive when they come in, um, even if they're vulnerable. All right. I do feel like this Queen of Swords is them. Um, I feel like this is what they have felt like they need to confront you as because you are so strong yourself, because you are somebody who has the discipline to not speak to them when 
um, things get difficult between you guys, you're able to pull yourself out of that energy. You're able to pull yourselves away, yourself away from them. And so with this queen of swords, I do feel like in a sense, this is them coming through with an explanation. They know that is the only way to get through to you. I do feel like this is a sense that they are going to, they want clarity as much as you want clarity. They want to know why, um, their heart is hurting the same way I feel like they're going to be invested in trying to feel, uh, figure out why your heart is hurting and to try to talk about it. Again, this person could be very coarse. This, this, this conversation could be very blunt and, and there can, there may be very little affection here. Um, but there's definitely a conversation and, and your person is going to come from a, a, a space of, of hurt and brokenness, right? And so this queen of swords is the only way they know how to appeal to you at this time, because I feel like you're showing up in a way as the queen of swords as well. You only want the truth. You only want clarity. I think in this conversation, your person is going to admit that you make them happy. They are going to admit that they want to make you happy with this sun energy here. The possibilities are still there in your connection. They don't want things to be completely over. I think they're going to say something to the effect of, I just want to be happy. You know, I, I just want joy. I hate fighting. All right. And so while we do have these really combative energies here, having the sun energy is a good aura because it's showing that this person is going to come out of that at some point in the near future and they are going to be able to communicate. And I think they are still going to be vulnerable, but they're going to be in a way hopeful too. And I think that's also why temperance came out with them trying to get things right, get their story straight in a way before they come to you and try to heal and get things together within themselves before they connect to you. Uh, clarifying the sun, we have the king of coin. Um, they could want to share some news with you, all right? You have someone who um, could have spent a lot of time in their work setting, and that could have been what made them happy. Um, that could have been something that really brought them joy, and they kind of neglected feelings. You know, as, as of right now, we don't really have cups energies except for the seven of cups which you know is giving more illusion and 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 dreamlike state and needing to wake up and needing to face reality and so a big part of this person's reality is that they they find success um they find happiness in their success their material success they do want to share this success they do want to invest in a family they want to invest in a committed relationship the king of coins is a committed someone committed to an idea to a career to a person this is a commitment to your connection that they want to share i do feel also like they are going to have to sort of learn to balance um who they want to be to the world as far as their material success and, and the type of person that they want to be in this relationship. Um, because they may just only know how to do things a certain type of way and, and feelings and, and emotions and being considerate of others' feelings and emotions may not be something that they're able to, um, understand or process at this time. But I do feel like with this King of Coins, um, clarifying this sun energy that their next move towards you is going to be one that um, kind of is thinking about the future and the long term of your connection. And with that sun energy representing Leo, I do absolutely feel like this is going to happen before Leo season is over. All right. So we have the five of pentacles as their next steps towards you. Um... Again, when it comes to money or finances or success, this person may feel a bit like they fall short when it comes to this connection. They could feel like they excel in everything else in their life and paying their bills and, um, you know, doing good community work or just 
being a, a successful person and their material world and not really able to translate that to emotional happiness um, or emotional romance, right? So let's clarify this five of pentacles. So, Ten of spears. Also, your, your person has been a bit humbled with that five of pentacles energy, right? So their next steps towards you, this humbling of, of themselves is really difficult for them because it's something that they're not used to presenting themselves as. They're used to coming to you as somebody who, who has everything together or somebody who takes care of their business, does what needs to be done. Again, in the area of romance, this is some, this is an area where they have fallen short. And so what I feel like this five of pentacles and this 10 of wands is saying is that this person is carrying this really unnecessary burden, right? And if they would just open up a little bit more, you would open up a little bit more. If they would share a little bit more, you would share a little bit more. If they came off as more reliable and more trusting to you, like the way that they they feel they are with this King of Pentacles, then you would be able to trust them. You would be able to trust them with your heart. But um, I feel like this this connection, this person that you're connecting with has made it feel like it's it's they're difficult to love or even that you are difficult to love. And so that's been one of the challenges in your connection. And again, they're still struggling with that. They're not gonna get rid of that out of nowhere, but I do feel like this is a sense that they have humbled themselves with that five of pentacle, seeing that the reality that they can actually lose you. And that for them would be far more heavier a burden to carry than to have you and, and not be able to um, truly express and truly share their feelings and their resources with you. Okay. So we have the will of fortune. I feel like things are going to turn in the right direction. There are, there is a lot that, that needs to be worked through first. Right. Um, but I do feel like this connection is going to turn in a direction that you will find positive because we have the Knight of Coins coming after this. Um, this is a sense that they want to bring you something. They they only want to be around you or in your life if they can bring you something of worth and something of value. They may think that that is something material. They may even think that that is that that's something that you um, have prioritized in a partner, but. Um, I think overall, this is a, a change in this person's behavior and attitude overall. If they've humbled themselves and they've seen what it is like to lose your presence in their life, um, that is not what makes them happy and they want to fix this, the Eight of um, Cups. So this is a change that has been motivated by, I feel like you walking away. I feel like you change the dynamic of this relationship because of it. Um, positive changes will possibly be made because you had the strength and the courage and remember the discipline to to shut it down when it was getting either disrespectful or when you saw that your person wasn't reciprocating, right? So I do feel like you kind of um, caught them off guard. You kind of confused them. They may not have been used to you retreating as a response to their behavior that you couldn't accept anymore. They may have been used to you like kind of sticking by them and just being really supportive. And so now they're dealing with somebody who recognizes their own fulfillment should be prioritized and recognizes that their own happiness is something um, that you have now put at the forefront of your life. And so there with that will of fortune, it's like, okay, I have to come at this person differently. I definitely have to change if I'm going to get them back. All right. Will of fortune is about changing. It's about changes. That is the only thing that is constant change. All right. So the Knight of coin. So again, this kind of confirms that energy that they are going to come forward with. Yes an apology, an explanation, something that you find valuable, something that you have been wanting. I think they feel like they are going to give you something that you have been wanting for some time now because you've been waiting for it 
for a really long time and it's been taking them a really long time to to bring that to you and that could be an attitude change that could be an explanation that could be an apology but this offer is definitely something of value or something that you will find of value okay so we have two i mentioned that you had strength um we have the strength and the high priestess messages so the next steps that they're going to take to you are definitely intuitively guided. I will say that this person has summoned their own courage and their own strength to be able to come towards you in a meaningful way. All right. They have been taking too long to get the point across. And it may have felt like to them that you were rushing them when you just really want to make sure this person is solid. I am showing that they are solid. I feel like them having like the king of pentacles and and the Knight of Coin or the Knight of Pentacles is representing their need for security and stability in their own life and to bring it to you as well. But I feel like they've been listening to their intuition and as confused as they have been, they are ready to bring clarity forth in this connection. And that's taken a lot of courage. As we see, this is somebody who when they fall short, it's not easy for them to carry that weight, that burden of like they let somebody down or like they were a disappointment. And so I do feel like they're going to come forward with something meaningful with this courage and with this intuition. Um, I also feel like this has made them a stronger person. This has made them a, a stronger person, a, a more someone who will in turn be more reliable because they hate not being reliable and they hate not being dependable on you. Also, if you have had people in your life that you feel like um, don't like this person or will fight with this person and, and you had to kind of put up your barriers around yourself. I feel like they're, they're coming through willing to take down those barriers with your consent and, and with your blessing, but their approach, as we saw with the will of fortune is going to be much different this time around. So with the seven of spears or the seven of wands, what we have here is somebody who is definitely willing to continue this journey, no matter how difficult it gets. This is somebody that is going to persist and going to continue to stand up for this connection and fight for this connection. They know that they have brought you to a point where you are super defensive where you are um, very skeptical even for some of you, but they do know that they want to come through and show you again, they're willing to do what it takes. They're willing to do what it takes. They they also feel like you guys have made progress. And so they're willing to, to, to defend the progress that you all have made. They don't want someone to come in and get the person they feel like they have been um, investing in and, and get you who they have been wanting this long-term happiness with, all right? So clarifying that is the Six of Swords. Yeah, I mean, I feel like peace is going to be a possibility, like a peace of mind, a, a peace in the relationship where there is no arguing, no, no frustration is going to come to this connection. Um, and you guys are going to move forward. I just think they want to show you first how much they're willing to do for you and how hard they're willing to fight for you. Um, but this is a definite movement towards your direction. I do feel like it's going to happen within the next couple of weeks. All right. Um, they could be wanting to come see you. They could want to meet with you somewhere. But this is what they feel will give them peace of mind. This is what they feel will give them healing from the negative thoughts or all the thoughts that they have about you moving on away from them. And this is what they feel will bring clarity to a situation that has been weighing heavily on their heart and has been hurting them. All right. So definitely expect some movement from your person and um, definitely expect them to continue to fight for this. Cause I feel like you have present made yourself like, um, they may look at you a bit as being stubborn, but you just have boundaries and standards. And so they're willing to fight for your trust again and, and, and willing to bring you, do whatever it takes to bring you peace of mind. All right. Okay. Group one, that is what I have for you guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will talk to you soon.
Hello, group two. This is for those of you who resonated with um, the Mermaid Tarot. I am going to get a few messages and see what action your person is going to take towards you next. All right. So we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Hierophant. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Sun. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Lovers. And we have the Three of Wands. All right, so starting with the Nine of Swords, your person is really like going back and forth and up and down and all around about this connection and about this situation with you. Um, they could be driving themselves a little nuts trying to figure out how to approach you, how to reconnect with you. Um, I do because I see certain types of movement cards um, in the messages. I feel like um, this is them thinking about um, how to reconnect with you or how to take this situation to the next level. This is something that is stressing them out. OK, um, this is also something that they may have in the past have been like, I don't it's too much. I don't even want to deal with it. Um, it does feel like they're going to try to tune out the, the, the loud noise of their negative thoughts and possibly the thoughts and opinions of those around them. And they're going to try to seek a higher spiritual guidance to get them through this. We'll see that with the Hierophant, but I do want to clarify this nine of swords, but you can see that this is just nagging at this person up here. Even if they try to ignore you, even if they try to ignore this connection, you just keep popping back up in their energy. You keep popping back up in their heads. And so they know that something must be done. All right. So let's clarify that. Ace of Cups. So this is someone who experiences love and is very distrustful of it. All right. So this is pure love that they have for you. This is a pure, uh, sincere, genuine chance to have a committed relationship, to have a solid love pairing. And yet this person is, is out of sorts about it. They can't figure it out, you know, and, and, um, I feel like the action that your person is going to take is definitely going to be motivated by love. They can't take it anymore. It is this, um, sense that this is, a, this is something that they have to get off of their chest, that they love you. They have to get off of their chest that they don't want this opportunity to pass them by with this ace of cups, Right. So they have an opportunity to expand, um, and we'll see that with the three of wands, but they have an opportunity to expand their, their mindset and get out of this closed mindset of love isn't real. Love can't be pure. People only get hurt in love and experience this love they have with you for what it is. All right. And give it a chance. So with the Hierophant, we definitely have somebody who is trying to get closer to their more spiritual self to make a decision here about how to approach you because um, overthinking it hasn't worked. So this is somebody who is possibly always feeling like, I just need to be logical when it comes to this. Is this, you know, is this person going to be faithful? Trying to sort of uh, dissect this situation and this connection, but not really dissecting it with, with, with the right tools, right? So yes, they are using their, their head and their logic and, and they're trying to, um, they feel like if they think excessively about it, it'll give them enough time to make the right decision. But I get the sense that they feel like time is getting away with them when it comes to you. And so they need to do something fast. And so what I feel like that thing they're doing is I feel like they're trying to A, seek guidance. All right. So this could be a mentor, a therapist, somebody who is advising them on what they should do first, how they should feel um, when it comes to love and next, how they should approach someone who they are in love with, somebody who they do want commitment and tradition with. This is also somebody who is themselves very traditional. Right. And so they kind of 
um, can be stuck in their ways where the way they, that they have always done things kind of works for them, but not really for the romantic partner. And so what they're finding is that they may have to give a little when it comes to their way of, of how they usually do things. Um, because this situation feels like it's very different for them. This is not somebody who has experienced true, genuine love before. Um, at least in this romantic way. This feels like somebody who is having new feelings or, um, like, oh, okay. All right. Oh gosh. I, I love them. Now what? You know? Um, or it could be someone who's like, oh my gosh, not this again who has had negative experiences with love and is they're like, oh my goodness, not this again. But there is a sense here that there's a freshness to the way that they feel about you. All right. Um, again, with this higher font energy, we have somebody who is kind of sticking to the way that they've always done things, but could be getting advice or guidance on how they should be doing things. Yep. So they're getting new ideas in their head. All right. They know they have to approach this connection with you a little bit differently. This opportunity is too good. The reason why it's too good is because we have these aces that represent new opportunities, that represent new beginnings, that, re that represent something fresh and something that can change your life. All right. This person is stuck in their ways. They don't like change and yet it is happening to them anyway. They feel inspired by this connection even. All right. They feel inspired to commit long term. This could be a new feeling for them. All right. But they're definitely feeling a lot of passion and they're feeling a lot of emotion when it comes to you, group two. So I do feel like when they do come to you, that they are going to have this this new outlook in a way, this this new sort of perspective on love and on relationships and on passion and, and what commitment truly is. That could be what this person's fear was, commitment. Um, yes, love, but more so commitment, right? Because that's a whole different ballgame. You can have feelings for somebody and love them, but can you commit to them? Can you give them a life with you that is fulfilling, and so that is what this person has been inspired to think about when it comes to you and to this connection. So what we have with the Six of Swords here is actual movement. I do feel like your person's next steps will involve coming to see you or um, wanting to meet you. Um, this is definitely, <laughs> you know, them feeling like they want to get a sense of clarity and move away from, from the things in their life that don't give them as much hope and, and inspiration and positivity and wanting to move. It feels like they're excited to embark on this journey, right? It feels like they have a sense of um, freedom with this six of swords message here. There's like a sense of freedom. Like I'm, I'm, I'm leaving my, my normal way and I'm headed towards something new. This was something that gave them a bit of anxiety at first. Right now, it's like I I I gotta get a move on. I can't lose this person. I gotta hurry. This is speed as well, you know. So you could get something unexpectedly or out of the blue. Let's clarify that six of swords. All right. Yep. Page of Pentacles, justice. All right, group two. So this is clarifying that six of swords. Um, because we had the page of cups next to the six of swords, I was already getting apology energy. This is definite apology, apology energy. So when your person does connect with you and they will, because this page of pentacles can also represent communication and a message of some sort, I do feel like they are going to apologize and the apology is going to be big. It is going to be not, I'm sorry if you were offended or I'm sorry if I hurt you. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry I ran away from this connection. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I'm sorry. You know, I feel like this is going to be big because that justice there shows that there has been a lack of justice and balance in this connection. That has been something that you have been lacking from them. And I feel like they are going to bring that with them. Now, with the page, um, the way they communicate this, it may still not be at an elevated level, right? So they're just so excited to see you again and be with you again with that six of swords that when they come, it's like they're going to 
just be so excited to talk to you, right? They're going to be so excited to to let you know what they've been thinking finally and, and to start laying plans for the future. Um, but this isn't a king and this isn't a knight. This isn't somebody who is completely comfortable yet in their divine self. And so you're still going to get a portion of who this person is. But I feel like with this justice, it will be enough to rectify the situation. All right. So we have the page of cups here. If I was saying page of cups, I meant page of pentacles, but we have the page of cups here. So this is again, confirming that apology, conf confirming that this person is really sweet. They they have a really they have a sweet spot for you, all right. Um, they also come off if you've been seeing them as kind of like how could they do me like this? How could they just you know um, how come I'm not hearing from them? How could they uh, left me uh, hanging? How come you know they didn't never explain anything? Again, they're not their elevated divine self, and also this person is a little bit tepid. All right. They're a little bit afraid of what they feel. This is a big cup for this little teeny person, but it's also um, overwhelming for somebody who already doesn't allow themselves to feel with their heart as opposed to, to thinking, overthinking things, all right? They sabotage themselves. We don't have the five of swords here, but they do sabotage themselves here. And so what we have with this page of cups is this person wanting to be really sweet to you and really kind to you and wanting to tell you in the best way that they know how that they care for you and they want this new beginning. They want to start over, all right? They need you in a way to show them, to lead them. Okay, with these page energies, we see with the Hierophant, they need guidance. All right, they need guidance. Even with the Ace energies, it's like the beginning. Not action being taken yet, but the beginning. So they're going to need help and assistance, their guidance from you even to help them learn how to navigate a romantic relationship that involves commitment. Hang man, I said they left you hanging. Yeah, I think there is a sense that they needed to see things from a different perspective here with this hangman. Um, they also may feel like they want to come forward and explain to you why there was a wait, why there was a delay with this connection, why they waited so long to truly express their feelings, right? Um, they are going to feel like you are owed at least that. And that's why we see this really big sort of explanation slash apology slash sense of clarity slash resolve here. Um, that's something that they're really, really wanting to do with you, really wanting to resolve this situation and, and let you know what took them so long with this hangman. I also feel like they were trying to plan what to say to you, trying to plan how to approach you. All right. So as with group one, who also had the sun in their card for their person's next actions toward them, I feel like your person is going to make this happen before Leo season is out because the sun is representing Leo season. There's a sense of urgency here. We saw that with this six of swords. All right. Coming in quickly, but, but, but allowing things to flow this time, not being so controlling with their actions, trying to control how this situation goes down. I think they're more willing to let things go with the flow. The sun can confirm that. I feel like your person is really in a, in a really innocent, like childlike space. Okay. We have a lot of children in these messages. And so what I'm getting for your person is that this is somebody who is still very new. All right. Very new at romance, very new at relationships. What some of them will reveal to you is that they've never been in a long term relationship and that they haven't been or that they haven't been in a long term relationship in years. And so this all feels very fresh and new to them. And while it is exciting and while they are happy to, uh, you know, come towards you and, and bring you what they feel will, will be this good news because it's an apology, because it's an explanation, because it's a conversation. Um, they also feel like they are wanting to um, embark upon this new journey, not alone, right? 
not alone. They want to experience this with someone, this, this newfound freedom, this newfound optimism that they have. They want to share this with you. Um, this could also be about attention. All right. So <laughs> they want attention from you. They want attention from you and you've been wanting attention from them. We're going to see more of that next with the six of wands. But I want to clarify this sun energy here because I do feel like you are going to get some good news from them or some just sort of good energy from them um, in the month of August. Confirmation with the four of wands here. They're definitely talking about stability. They could be celebrating um, something. Uh, some of them may even be Leos. You could be a Leo. But there's a sense here that they want to celebrate with you. They want to bring life to this world with you. Some of them will, will have already been thinking about having children with you. So the sun can represent wanting to um, talk about having kids, right? The, the four of wands, though, is about them finding security and optimism and happiness and them finding security in this relationship with you. They don't want to leave this, this, they don't want to leave this. They don't want to leave this. This is comfort. This is satisfaction. All right. This, this, this is where the excitement is. You are where the excitement is for them. And when they're not with you, they're this. All right. When they're not with you, they are this, stuck, worrying, okay? So we have the six of wands. I think they are going to start showering you with compliments and letting you know how beautiful they see you. They're going to say something to the fact of you are the star of the show or you are the light of, I feel like you're getting their attention anyway. All right. So the action they're going to take towards you is to try to come and get your attention because they see that you're already getting attention. Um, this could be on social media, seeing pictures of you. We even get that with the sun energy, seeing you just be in the spotlight and seeing you be happy. It makes them happy and they want to share that with you. So clarifying the six of wands is the two of swords. So I feel like this person is coming in definitely to give you attention, but also to kind of be like, don't move on without me. Don't do any, like, don't let's, let's, okay, I'm, I'm back. Let's have this conversation with that two of swords. Um, you could have this person blocked from your page. So some of them may not be able to see you shining and, and being beautiful and getting attention. But for the most part, I feel like this, this tool of swords is that you have blocked their energy. And so they know that they have to come back to do and do something big to get your attention. Remember, they're coming back big with this justice card. Okay. To resolve this situation. And so I do feel like they know they have to do something big to get your attention here. All right. To, you know, the two of swords is about a crossroads. It, it can be about decision making. But what we're going to see with the lovers is I feel like they have made their decision who they want to be with. I feel like they always made that decision. But there's a sense here that it needs to be talked about. Right. We can't move on. Uh, yeah, we're having fun. You guys could even like go out somewhere together, right? And be having fun. And they're like, okay, I know we're having a great time, but we really need to, to, to deal with this. Con we need to have this conversation. We really need to this, this issue that we've been bumping heads on, this issue that has been, um, keeping me away from you and keeping you away from me. Let's go head to head. Let's have it, right? And so I think they're going to let you know that you are the one that they chose if they had choices. If they are somebody who had already made their decision on this connection and there wasn't like a third party or anything, this person just struggled with how to, again, approach you and how to allow themselves to feel the love that they feel here without questioning it without questioning it and without doubting it. So you guys were definitely mirroring each other with the lovers. I think you guys are going to talk about that. Well, I wasn't talking to you because you weren't talking to me or I wasn't giving you attention because you weren't giving me no attention, right? And so that's something that could come up in the conversation. This is also an acknowledgement that there has been a barrier between the two of you. You know, there has, you guys are the reflection of each other, but you can't really get through to each other. Um, you can't get to the other side, um, until you get 
through this barrier, right? This barrier that you both have, um, these notions that you both have about each other. So that in itself is going to be a challenge. But again, this person is up to the task. They feel this sense of victory um, with you. And it, now that I'm looking at this, um, I'm getting the feeling that you're the one that's like, okay, don't get too excited. We still have to talk about A, B, and C. Don't don't get too excited. Don't feel like you've triumphed or, or won just yet with this six of wands. Yes, I'm talking to you again. Yes, I'm giving you an opportunity to explain yourself, but we still have this this hurdle between us, right? This These mirroring energies that don't really get us anywhere. We know that we have strong feelings for each other. We know that we love each other, but we're just sitting here looking at each other, kind of just, we we just let each other be. And there's no movement in the connection. And so I think that's you um, wanting to to kind of lead the conversation there with love, of course, and compassion and understanding. I think you are going to be very understanding towards this person. And I think they're going to try to be very understanding and compassionate towards you because you both feel like this. You both feel very loved. Group one didn't have that many cups in their energy, right? So a lot of their challenges were about communication. I feel like there's a sense that you guys both know that there's love here. You know that they love you or have strong feelings for you. And you know, um, and they know that you love them or have strong feelings for them, whichever level of, whichever level you are in your connection. And so this is a pair that, that sees each other in the long term. And so maybe this person felt like, oh, I have all the time in the world and 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 they're realizing that they're losing you. And so they're definitely going to come lay it on thick with this queen of cups. Right. This is a, a message of, of love. This is the embodying love. Right. This is using your feelings to truly connect. Without that nine of swords energy where there's anxiety and worry and, and stagnation because you are anxious and, and worried and always trying to, to question and doubt the situation. And so I feel like this person has finally opened their heart and is finally coming through wanting to cement this, their love for you and, and doing that by first expressing the depth of their love for you. Okay, it's like this is intuitive. You guys feel each other. All right. So with the three of wands here, this expansion, this this waiting, yeah. You you both have been waiting for each other. Of course, you have been, I feel, waiting more. You have been more delayed. Um because your person is is not is remember the pages, they're they're not truly in their divine self yet but you know even with the queen of cups showing up in their energy i feel this is a divine energy and so this is a queen um showing up to represent action and so the action is all going to be about pouring their heart out and this is something that you've been waiting for them to do because i feel like before you didn't know how they felt the entire time they got this ace of cups going on this, you know, wanting to feel you and hold you and start something new with you and have this affectionate relationship. I feel like this is a couple heavy on the PDA here. Right. And so they've been holding that back that they're, that that's who they are. And you've been waiting for this. Right. Um, so with that three of wands, there's a sense that all the hard work paid off hermit. There is a sense that all that, you know, there, you guys can learn from each other with this hermit. I even feel like you are going to go into kind of this retreat mode with your person so that you guys can learn each other a little bit more. I feel like this hermit is representing both of you, especially with regard, with regard to action. Um, also, you both have to kind of warm each other up now to being comfortable to express your feelings. I think it's going to be at first very overwhelming to feel this equal amount of love for each other because a lot of times in these connections, it feels one sided and imbalanced. And so this hermit is going to, this hermit energy um, is going to need time to process that, going to need space to process that. This, the difference is though, I feel like this time you guys are going to 
try to figure this out together. You're going to go into hermit mode together. You've been waiting for this alone time to, to see who this person is. You've been waiting for some quality, quiet time with this person to feel who they are truly. And so I do feel like the action that is coming from this person is that they are moving towards you very fast. And they do have um, a, a big apology and, and a lot to say to you and a lot to say about how they feel about you. All right. All right, guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will talk to you soon. Hello, group three. These will be your messages to see what your person, um, what action they are going to take towards you. Next, I am taking a look at the messages to see what is going on with your person and what are the next steps they're going to take towards you. All right. So we have the three of swords. We have judgment. Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups, we have Four of Swords, uh, Two of Wands, and we have Eight of Cups. All right, so this is for those of you who um, are wanting to know what action your person is going to take towards you, whether you guys are talking or there's light communication or you're just not seeing enough movement in your connection, whatever it is, these are the messages that came through for you. So we're going to start with the three of swords. Um, I do feel like your person is not in the best space to come forward because it feels like this is how they're feeling, right? Um, they're feeling a bit torn. Okay, they're feeling a bit torn. They're feeling a bit vulnerable. They're feeling very vulnerable, actually. I mean, look at this card, right? Um, they are trying to stitch together the pieces of their broken heart. And that could be because you all broke up. Um, that could be because some of them may have been involved in um, third party relationships with others and you found out and um, there was a big thing and it ended in everybody being hurt here they could be really frustrated with themselves right now i feel like there's a sense that they're frustrated with how they hurt you and the pain that they cause you okay so let's clarify this three of swords whoa okay so three cards came out to clarify that i'm gonna take all of them we have death seven of cups five of cups so your person is in a, t a space of total despair, okay? Um, this death card can, can represent rebirth, right? That's what we see. We see rebirth. We see that there is something past the dark woods. There's a clear sky, right? Um, there's a star. There's hope. But they are in the process of needing to heal. It feels like even every time they try or they get, um, they make some progress in their healing with that seven of cups, they finally make a choice, the five of cups, right? They, they get disappointed. And so this could literally be this person trying to solve their problems by um, connecting to other people emotionally and it ends up really empty and hollow for them. It's, it's a, it's not sad. And they're doing this out of hurt, of course, because remember these messages are clarifying this three of swords. So they're trying to find satisfaction. They're trying to, after this breakup, after this ending that was clearly here, all right, that is confirmation of an ending or a breakup, a separation, two people who decided to call it quits, one person who decided or one person who decided it was over and the other person is left confused. But I do feel like there's a sense here that this this person is not their complete self right now. They feel very empty. They feel like no matter what choice they make, they're going to end up disappointed. And that's because they haven't been making choices from an elevated place, right? So this five of cups here clarifying this um, three of swords, it's like <sighs> sorrow and despair. They always come back to this. They can't get away from this. They may try to go out with friends and, uh, all right, let me try option number one, going out with friends. Nope, that didn't bring me com uh, emotional fulfillment. All right, let me try playing video games all day or, you know, 
playing sports. Um, okay, that didn't bring me fulfillment. This is the regret that they keep coming back to. I am not fulfilled because I have not been able to make this situation that I most likely caused right. And so this breakup or this ending happened, okay? And, and they're feeling alone. They're feeling regretful. They're feeling remorseful, okay? They're missing you. And they're really silent right now, all right? They're silent right now. They they could say something like, I just need to be alone. I just need time to think. I need time to clear my head. Or you could just get the sense that that's what's happening. And for those of you who don't know that that's what happened, that's what's happening. That is what's happening. All right. So with the judgment card here, what we have is somebody who's definitely wanting to come back to you. All right. So this is a return. Um, the action that they're going to take is to be to come back to you. They do need time, right? So I do feel like this is a message that once they elevate themselves and, and once they heal somewhat, um, they will be able to approach you in a way that is fitting of your own elevation and of this connection. Um, let's clarify this judgment. All right. Four of Pentacles. I feel like this time around, they want to hold on to you. You are something valuable. You are someone valuable to them and they want to hold on to you. Um, I also feel like this person is going to share what they've been through with you. They've been through a lot and they want to share your journey. That They feel like that is a positive step to kind of help them heal. Um, who they are as a person they may um have a lot of traumas and and they may have a lot of negative uh experiences when it comes to relationships not just romantic and so they they feel like they are not somebody who is able to make good decisions when it comes to love and to relationships and how to approach someone that they care for or how to treat someone that they care for they end up regretting how they treat a person every time but I do feel like there's a sense that they want to tap into their more elevated self that finds the person that they value more sacred, right? Seeing you as someone who is more sacred than they have before. They, them even coming back to you and, and, and returning to you, it feels like this pull towards you, right? Like soulmates. I, the reason why I'm not happy doing anything else or being with other people is because this person, is is where I'm supposed to be. This is my purpose. This is where I find fulfillment. But I have been pushing that away and I have been hurting that person, all right? And so it finally feels like they are starting to see how sacred this twin flame or soulmate journey is with that four of pentacles and the judgment and they're wanting to fight for it with the seven of wands, right? So your person may have even been meditating. Look, we have these these images of meditation and reflection, right? And so your person could have even been been taking some time to the, their selves where they're spending a lot of quiet time alone. So what the the results that it's yielding are somebody who's realizing not only what's sacred but what needs to be defended. And so this is somebody who could be, you know, letting their friends know that, no, I'm, 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 I'm not going to go out tonight. I'm, I'm going to stay to myself or I'm not going to, um, do that family trip. I'm not ready to do that. I, I'm still trying to figure something out with this person. I'm still trying to figure out this connection with this person. It's like they no longer want to experience being an illusion like it's it's like they they no longer want to hide from their feelings or the reality of this situation they want to face it with this seven of wands they want to defend it right and so what i'm seeing is that you um could have somebody coming towards you who is going to let you know how defensive they are of you right they have their own insecurities and if this is somebody who has in the past accused you of cheating or accused you of um, somebody who they can't be loyal to because you're not loyal that's because they're not loyal themselves and so they projected that onto you 
right? And so it came off as really bitter and really defensive, but really it was a defense mechanism to stop them from getting hurt, but they weren't able to stop themselves from hurting you with this, um, with that three of swords. So with this seven of wands, we see them wanting to protect this connection a little bit better than they have before. Yeah. Queen of wands. There's a passion and a sensuality here that has been awakened in them by way of this relationship. You could also be representing the queen of wands, somebody sexy and alluring and, and somebody that is really beautiful that they feel needs to be protected as opposed to being left alone. So I do feel like this is definite action in you guys' direction coming from your person, right? Um We don't have a lot of swords here that are represent okay so we have the eight of swords coming up but i was going to say we don't have a lot of swords here representing clear communication coming so what i'm getting is that you have somebody who could be really sort of protective of you right even if it doesn't feel like it this is somebody who doesn't want you to move on this is somebody who recognizes your glow and recognizes your your value and so they don't want to not have that in their own life um but they are very, um, it's like they could go about it the wrong way, go about defending you and go about protecting this connection in the wrong way. Right. And, um, so they may even feel like you're now the one that's defending yourself against them. Okay. So eight of swords, they're not really sure what to say. Right. They're not really sure they have no clarity right now. OK, so that's why we've been seeing them in this really meditative state and wanting to be alone and kind of wanting to distract themselves with frivol teas and and things that will take their mind off of this connection. But that leaves them trapped. Right. Because they always come back to this connection. They always come back to you. And so with that eight of swords, they're feeling like their hands are are tied in a way like I don't know what to say I don't know how to say it this is just who I am <laughs> you know um we have the wheel indicating that this person could definitely make some big changes in their life for the better but right now there's somebody who's a little bit tongue-tied they could also be someone who's not used to apologizing they don't really know how they don't know if it'll be accepted they know that they've apologized before in the past and still done the same behaviors that have um, that have broken you guys apart. And so with this Wheel of Fortune, there's a sense that there is some hope that they're going to change. I would say if they come back now or soon, they're still going to be in a place that is kind of confused and, and kind of emotionally stunted. But this is also somebody who now recognizes their blind spots when it comes to love i'll say they recognize their blind spots they recognize that they're easily influenced by others they recognize that they have not allowed themselves to fully um experience true love out of fear out of control issues and now they want to change that with this will of fortune okay more uh meditative vibes too right Queen of Cups, they have deep, loving feelings for you. Um, they could even want to comfort you. So if they feel like they've hurt you, they're wanting to come forward and comfort you, right? Um, <clears throat> this is, I am going to open up to this person. They want to open up to you. They want to be vulnerable with you. They feel like you're trustworthy, like you won't. Um, make fun of their vulnerabilities and like you are comforting to them as well. And so they feel like they want to let down all of their guards that they have had. They want to cry on your shoulder. They want you to be able to cry on their shoulder, right? This is sensitivity. This person is very sensitive about you. We see that they have this defensiveness. They may not know how to treat you, magician, um, but there is a sensitivity here there's also power with this magician and them shedding their tears. Um, some of you may get into a really emotional sort of um, situation with this person where they just start 
telling you how stuck they are and how confused they are and how they don't know what to do and and how they people in their past have just hurt them. So I do feel like there will be a lot of that with this connection, a purging, if you will, of their feelings before they can truly like um, open themselves up to you. But I do feel like this person is doing everything in their power to summon their more sensitive, nurturing, compassionate self. Okay, so that they can try to understand where your hurt came from because they hurt you. So I do feel like they're going to come when they do come forward. It's going to be a place of I don't know why I do the things that I do. I just know that I love you and I care about you so much and and I, I'm listening. You know, I'm going to try. Right. So with the four of swords, this this whatever action they're taking um if it's led by the heart and intuition, as we saw with the Queen of Cups, this could bring a lot of peace, right? This could bring um, peace between you guys, peace of mind. This could even put an end to the combat combativeness in your relationship. And you guys both feel like, okay, I don't have to be so defensive. Now I can let my guards down. Now I can rest. Now I don't feel the need to kind of stay on my tippy toes with this person. I don't have to tiptoe around them anymore. Right. I, I, this person feels easily triggered. They feel very easily triggered. Like you could do something very well meaning and they'll feel like it's because it's because you're trying to manipulate them or they may not see it with the pure intentions that you have. And so this is a sense that they are putting their guard down, ready to make peace with you, ready to make peace with this situation. <clears throat> And look, this heart is sewn up. <laughs> so this heart that we see in the three of swords that's ripped apart and torn has now been sewn up. So there is a sense that this is that connect, reconnecting with each other will be what heal, heals both of your hearts. Right. Let's clarify that four of swords. Hermit. Yeah, this is going to cause uh, some deep reflection, right? So now you can sleep a little better. Now you can kind of get a clear sense of where this person is coming from and they can get a clear sense of where you're coming from. I feel like the action your person is going to take towards you or their next steps towards you are going to be um, mostly action, right? Um, mostly, I don't really know what to say. So I'm going to hold you tight and I'm going to cry with you and I'm going to acknowledge where I was wrong and I am going to do better by seeking a higher guidance or getting help with this hermit, right? Um, they could also let you know that they, they want to heal things with you. They just need a little bit more alone time, okay? Uh, so we have the two of wands. All right. Um, your person needs a little more time. They need a little more time. They need a little more space here with this two of wands, but they're definitely in the right mind frame by the time they get to you. Even if they're not now in this moment, by the time you hear from them, by the time you see them, if that's what happens as far as meeting, this person will be in a, in a better mind state, uh, mind state. So with this two of wands, this is planning. Right. So they may not be able to say, hey, let's talk about commitment. Let's talk about being together. But that's something that they could be planning to do in the future. Right now, they're just trying to heal this broken heart and do better. Right now, they just need peace of mind. Right. So clarifying that two of wands, we have, yeah, the Hierophant guidance and, and doing better. And this is now the elevation taking place from this person. And so this is what frees up their heart, reconnecting with you, understanding where your pain is coming from when it comes to them and the things that they've done, um, their ability to be vulnerable. It's like they unlock another level <laughs> of ascension, okay, because they're taking the steps they're supposed to take now as difficult as it is for your connection because there is still this distance and there is still this inability to truly communicate because this person feels stuck. 
So there's a sense that um, with this two of wands, they're definitely planning to do better with this hierophant. They're planning to be a little bit more traditional, a little bit more um, to provide a little bit more security to this connection because before there was very little security there, there, there was very little security here. It was like it, it, because there was no solid foundation or stability, this relationship always could have ended at any moment. All right. And so with the eight of cups, yes, what I see is this person coming back and, and saying to you, um, this is what happened. This is this is how things fell apart. This is what I was going through. This is what I was dealing with. I need a more a little more time to deal with it, right? I also need to find happiness in myself. So I do feel like this person is going to retreat or to go into hiding again. But I do feel like they need to make sure you're good first, which I do feel like they're gonna do. Um, there's a sense that this person is on their journey to elevation and ascension and happiness, right? Because they are a broken person. They are somebody who is easily triggered, um, but they are very sensitive too. And they have a lot of strong feelings for you. And so I think they feel like what's best right now is to take their space and to also give you your space, right? With that eight of cups. Um, clarifying that is the two of swords, right? So this is what it's like there's a there's an impasse here and there can be no movement forward whatsoever as far as commitment or relationship and so you guys individually have found some sort of healing for your traumas and your triggers and then you can come back to each other right more whole um this is somebody who realizes that right now in the space that they're in, they'll probably do more bad than good to you and to your connection. They'll probably hurt you. They could even say things like that. I'll, I'm only going to hurt you if I stick around. All right. Again, because there weren't a lot of swords about clarity and communication, they're definitely still there. Are these blind spots here that they're, they know they need to change. Right. Eight of swords, two of swords, both blindfolded. They're, they're walking blind um, into this healing process. They've never done this before. This is new to them. And for that reason, they can't move forward in a romantic relationship because they have to find clarity, which is something they're still on the path for. But I do feel like they want to come in and they want to mend your broken heart. You know, this is one of those situations where, you know, your friends are like, did you guys talk? And you're like, yeah, we did. And, you know, we cleared some things up. You know, they're going to focus on them. I'm going to focus on me. And we're going to kind of just go with the flow and see what happens. Right. Um, there is is this sense that you guys are planning to be together in the future with this two of wands and this hierophant. But right now, um, I do feel like this person needs their space and their alone time to get their selves together for that type of undertaking. All right. All right, group three, that is what I have for you. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will talk to you guys soon.